In these few examples, we are just going to practice a couple more of the logs, and we have one new thing to it. Um, but main thing here is we're practicing two different facts, that it's all meant to be without a calculator, that um, if it's meant to be with a calculator, things should work out pretty clean, that um, if uh, logs don't keep exponents, so if you have an exponent on a log, you can always pull it in front and it's going to multiply to it. And then the other one is that if the base matches the number, then it's going to equal 1. So these should go really, really quick because it's not a coincidence that those match. We pull the 8 in front. All right, so if we pull the 8, it's going to be multiplied to this. Well, this is that property. So that piece becomes 1. So it's 8 times 1 is 8. And then here, don't forget that a natural log is a base E. So we pull the negative T off. And it's really, if you even want to rewrite it like that, the natural log of E, the natural log is log base E of E. So those go away, and those are a 1. So you got negative T. And then here, log, if you don't have a base on it, it is automatically a base 10. So those are matching. We'll pull the 3K off. So, um, and that becomes 1. So log base 10 of 10 is 1. So you're just left with 3K. Um, and then another look is um, when you have an exponential mixed with a log, it actually pretty frequently happens where the base of your exponent matches the base of your log. Um, so if that is the case, it actually just ends up equaling whatever the value is associated with the log. So it's not at all a coincidence that 4 matches that 4. So then it's just going to equal K. Um, and then here, the natural log, again, is an E. So the fact that those two match, not a coincidence. That's just going to be a 5. And then don't forget here that that is a base 10. So it's just a 7T. All right, so that was just a quick uh, making sure you're good with some logs. And that actually is the new idea that the exponential with a log, as long as those things match, you're just going to equal that value right there.